making a one-third scale model of a 1967 Cadillac DeVille convertible. A few years ago, I had an actual full-size 1967 Cadillac, but I was working on restoring it, but I didn't really have a place to keep it, uh, and the project really wasn't making the progress that it needed to, so I decided to let it go and then later found a really accurate 3D model and thought, hey, maybe I could make a miniature version that would satisfy my urge to own this vehicle without having to take up all the space in a garage that I don't have. So I could have 3D printed, uh, but at this size, it would have been a lot of gluing 3D printed pieces together. So I decided to make the body on our ShopBot CNC um, and did slices uh, of different pieces of the body out of inch and a half thick MDF. I would machine down those slices and then put them together. So the, slide, the sides of the vehicle are about six feet long, but there's only uh, a couple slices um, that were machined out. And then a hood, uh, the bumpers, the trunk lid were also machined. One of the complications of this project is I want to be able to paint the body and the trim separately, but I got to make sure everything's going to fit. Uh, so I kind of have to put the thing completely together, have everything fitting right, and then be able to take it back apart. So I was trying to figure out a way to do that with all these little small trim pieces. Um, so what I've experimented with is by using, using magnets. So I've got, I was able to embed some small magnets in some of these 3D printed parts like this handle and this mirror. And then also gluing into the magnets into the wood. That way I can remove these parts, do all the painting and finishing, and put them back together. I do plan to apply chrome finish. Uh, on the bumpers and all the trim pieces. I'm gonna do some experimenting with that, see how realistic I can get the chrome to look. So for these mirrors, I actually plan to use uh, some stainless that we have with a mirror PVD coating to kind of cut those out so the mirror should be reflective. Um, a lot of what I'm going for is appearance, um, more so than functionality, but I want it to look as real as possible. So that brings up the question of how much of it should function. Uh, like when it comes to the windshield wipers. Uh, I don't, I think I'm gonna have the windshield wipers on there, but I don't think there's any reason to have them move. Oops. Windshield. I do plan to try to make a tool out of MDF and then vac form a clear plastic to create a clear plastic windshield and these little side mirrors as well. Lights, yes, I do plan to have as many of the lights as possible. I want to have the dashboard light up. I want to have those little uh, interior lights. There's the uh, turn signals, brake lights, a lens for, for some of this, like the, uh, the tail lights. And because this thing's going to have electric motors, it's not going to have that V8 growl. I am also considering building a synthesizer to generate the engine sounds so it has the sounds of a full-size engine, even though the motor that is in here will be DC and perfectly quiet. With so many details and ideas, there, I, there comes a point where you have to figure out where's the off-ramp, how's this thing going to ever stop? Uh, I can keep getting more ideas coming in as people see this. Um, Rick has suggested adding some hydraulics so that we can raise and lower the whole thing. And while that's a really cool idea, I don't know if I'm going to go quite that far or not. All right, for the wheels, I looked for existing wheels that are out there that were about the same proportions. And what I found eventually was these, these wheels, these solid wheels from two-wheel dollies. And they're just about the right width and diameter and put them on there with a solid axle. When it comes to hubcaps, I kind of like the way these look, but I might ma eventually make 3D printed hubcaps and try to make them match, do the chrome to match. I had to learn a lot of new processes on this project. I knew using MDF that I was going to have some finishing challenges with how much this material sucks up any kind of liquid. So I knew I was gonna to have to do some kind of sealer and for the front bumper, I experimented with using just a brush on sanding sealer, put in as much as I could on there till it stopped soaking it up. Uh, I did some sanding and still when I went in to put on the primer, it soaked up quite a bit more. Also had to do some body work on these bumpers and learn to use Bondo, which I hadn't done before. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more of that. It's also, when you get it wet, you can really see all the little imperfections that I'm sure our chrome will only make much worse. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time probably trying to get it as good as I can before I put that finish on it. For the grill, it's on the real car made out of sheet metal and ultimately that is what I wanna do as well. Cut the sheet, these sheet metal slats that uh, interlock on either our water jet or our laser, but 
just in order to make sure everything fit properly and to have something to show at Maker Faire. Um, I just made this out of cardboard on our uh, universal laser. That was an intermediate step. To find any issues with the file or size or fitment before I get into pieces made out of metal. Next I'm going to get things try to fit going together more like representative how they will be in the, in the end with hinges on the doors, hinges on the hood. Right now the, the hood and the trunk lid are just kind of setting in place. I want to get those um, on hinges and then make a frame. So right now it's just kind of attached to another MDF board. That's sort of the base and that's what the axles are attached to right now. But I do want to try to weld uh, a metal frame that is removable from the entire body so that the body could be pulled off drop back on. I need to get a lot of it done before I do the paint because I don't want to scratch the paint <laughs> during any of this process when there's, uh, as I'm taking the body on and off and getting motors and things like that in place. So uh, that'll probably be near the end. The ultimate goal is to make this thing remote controlled. So to put DC electric motors in it, speed control and everything and be able to drive it. My target is to get up to scale highway speed, which would be about 32 miles an hour. I don't know if I'll actually get there or not, but that's what I'm shooting for. So I've still got a lot to do. Uh, I'm learning a lot along the way, especially on finishing. If anybody has any techniques on finishing MDF or finishing 3D printed parts or getting a chrome type of finish on either MDF or 3D printed parts, I'd love to hear your tips. Anybody who does any other scale modeling who has some tips on uh, any ideas on how I can make this thing better, let me know. Stay tuned and I'll try to keep everybody updated as progress continues.